Now that we've seen a little bit of what configurations can do for your designs, let's take a look at one more step in the configurations. So let's navigate back to the configuration manager and let's go to option two. And now that we're on option two, we have it selected. Let's right click on it and notice that we can add a derived configuration. So we'll select that and let's just say option two sub. And as we look in here, we look at our advanced options. You'll notice that suppress features is not checked here. Now, this is important because this configuration is currently linked to the parent configuration. So we can link it to a specific configuration, a user specified name, or document name. In this case, we're gonna link to parent configuration. And what this means is anything that happens to option two happens to option two sub, but anything that happens to option two sub doesn't happen to option two. Now, this might make sense in just a second. Let's go ahead and do another sketch and just add a circle on here and go ahead and extrude this. Now, if you created this a similar file as I did in the last video, go ahead and use your file. Otherwise, you can open up this file and go ahead and manipulate it with me as well. This one's called configuration. So now we have a boss extrude 2, a new feature, a new sketch that was created inside of this option 2 subconfiguration. If we select option 2, You'll notice that Boss Extrude 2 is not here. I mean, it's here, but it's suppressed. It's not added to the part. But let's go ahead and do a sketch in here and add another circle to this face. Say, okay, we'll extrude that one. And now let's go back to the configuration and let's select Option 2 Sub. So in Option 2 Sub, that boss that we just added is there, but in Option 2 Configuration, the one we added in the sub is not there. So this allows you to do a couple different things. Obviously, it depends heavily on what you're designing, but you can make multiple sub configurations of a single configuration, and that way you have complete control over things that trickle down into it. So anytime you make a change, add a new feature, modify a dimension, update a fillet, whatever the case is, that will hold true in the sub configuration. For instance, if we go back to Boss Extrude 1, we configure that feature again. Inside of Option 2, you notice that we have control over Option 2 in Option 2 sub configuration. But let's go ahead and modify it here. And let's say we want the height to be 150. It automatically changes option two sub for us. But we could say in option two sub, we want it to be 175. And notice how it's displayed. It's actually showing it up as yellow because it's different from its parent configuration. So this means we can go back and forth and look at the two different options. And you can see that option two, we have a little bit of extra material. We were able to manually manipulate it but anything we did in option two, the main configuration did not allow us a difference from option two sub. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. It really is, again, part dependent, and it really makes sense when you have a part like a caster wheel that goes on hundreds of different types of objects. Well, let's say that you have some options, like in certain versions, you have a brake or certain versions, the brake pedal is a little bit different. You don't want any changes to the main caster wheel, for instance, the wheel size, the wheel width, anything like that, to not trickle down into sub configurations. But you don't necessarily want anything that happens to the brake pedal or some sort of cosmetic feature to trickle back up to the main configuration. So it's a nice way that you can organize these. And you can have as many derived configurations as you want. So we'll just call another one sub two. You see that we have multiple sub configurations. So that way you can get in here and you can play around with several different options and really see how you can modify and tweak your design. And of course, none of these will convey back to the other configurations because when we created them, when we looked at the properties of these configurations, we didn't allow them in the advanced options to create those new features inside of the other configurations. We made sure that it suppressed those. So very good option for you just to play with another level of configurations and how they can work with your files. I'm going to go ahead and save this file as configuration derived. So that way, if you want to open this specific file up and play with it, you can.